Our Gilly Crane hotline is open. You can call in. Uh, you can pick up that phone. And when you need some heavy lifting done, call Gilly Crane. And speaking of heavy lifting, Oakland did some heavy lifting tonight. They got a big win at Mount Juliet. Coach Kevin Creasy calls us in on the uh, Gilly Crane hotline. Coach Creasy, congratulations on the big win, sir. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, it was it, Your defense carried you tonight. It's, it's about the only way you can say it, right? Right. Defense played good. Uh, you know, held them to uh, maybe six or seven first downs. I don't know. Until right there at the end, they got a two-minute offense right at the end. And uh, we're marching it down the field and about scored on us uh, late in the fourth quarter. You, uh, I, th- I think the stat that I saw was you held them to uh, single single digit yards in the first half. Uh, you pretty much bottled them up and and and, uh, and 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 stymied them in the first half. And and uh, that's a that's a good way to be because you can continue to run your offense that way, can't you? Well, yeah, you know, it was a it was a classic uh, playoff game where it was just uh, defense versus defense. Offense versus offense, we're both struggling. Uh, I have to give our defense a lot of credit, man. They played really well. Maybe made a couple mistakes all night. That's it. Uh, Really well prepared. I thought they did a really good job of preparing this week. And and then on special teams, I thought special teams made a difference. Uh, Our punter tonight had one punt that went 80 yards. Uh, He had several that were over 45, uh, made some critical extra points for us. And uh, just flip the field all night long. Just impressive. Uh, you know, and it's, it, you can tell it's a defensive kind of night when you're MVP of the game as your partner. Yeah, and and I was uh, we were talking about that. We were listening to that broadcast here uh, in the studio and uh, uh, the WGNS broadcast, and I made mention of the fact that the punter had been. Uh, I think even Brian Barrett had said that the punter had been maybe the MVP of the first half. You you won the field position battle, didn't you? We we did, uh, and you know, field position was big because there was the entire quarter that we were in a mud hole. Now, don't get me wrong, we played in a mud hole about four or five times this year, but uh, there was we were just spinning our wheels. It was uh, it was one of those deals where we couldn't really do much. Uh, you know, next thing you know, we we put our punt team out there, and, and uh, it was impressive what he did tonight, just flipping the field. Just uh, you know, a lot of times the best compliments. Get it from the opposing coach. You know, Coach Perry is very complimentary to him about uh, what a heck of a job he did tonight. Well, uh, I don't know if you've done any scoreboard watching, but uh, who would have predicted Maryville and Oakland at Oakland in uh, the day after Thanksgiving? Uh, maybe 99% of the population in America? I don't know. I don't know. It was real close to being Mount Julius tonight. I know that uh, they had a heck of a team, and, and uh, you know may have uh, been able to give up give up more of a fight than we are. I don't know. We're kind of the wounded warriors right now. Our guys are kind of limping around a little bit, uh, but you know we'll definitely give it our best Friday night. Uh, our guys played there were several plays hurt tonight, and I just think that's kind of speaks volumes about how they care about each other. You know, they all, uh, you know, pull together and played their hearts out, even though they were, you know, not 100%. And uh, just showed a lot of good. I was, I was most proud of that. I knew that, you know, if they went down the scores right there at the end and went for two and won the game, that I could lay my head down at night and just know that, you know, all them seniors uh, that, that we've uh, had for four years, man, they gave it their all. And, and I, I think Coach Perry probably can do the same thing tonight. Uh, Coach, congratulations on the win. Uh, as as Coach Rankin used to say, there's no uh, there's no oatmeal and cartoons in the morning. Well, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in your preparations for Maryville. Uh, there's going to be a huge crowd up there, and I know that you've, uh, uh, you're have you going to take a lot of ticket requests and old buddies texting you. So uh, try to get in some uh, try to get in some some uh, rest and some some Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, sounds good. I had uh, Burger King last year for Thanksgiving. 
uh, <laughs> worked out well. All so, right. Uh, yeah, if that gets you back to the sh- to the dance, then uh, let's uh, let's do what we got to do. You know, maybe last year wasn't a good year to, to have Burger King, but uh, uh, so maybe you switch it up and go go uh, go Wendy's or something. I go to Wendy's. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking about Wendy's. All Wendy's. right. But- Take care. Have a great one, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon, okay? I appreciate it. That is Kevin Creasy of Oakland. We're going to step away for a break on for the stations on our Friday Night Thunder Radio Network. It is Friday Night Thunder. <laughs> 